No boat building video is complete without a picture of the sailing ship. Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. In this episode, we continue working on the Freedom 17 canoe. This is a cedar strip, 17 foot canoe, and uh, we are getting close to completion. In this episode, we're going to work on fashioning the decks for both the front and the back of the canoe. And I also uh, decided to put in some bulkheads. Um, it just felt like since it's 17 foot long, we had plenty of, of room. And since we're putting, putting the decks in here anyway, uh, it just kind of made sense to create some watertight, usable space. Um, I will warn you, there is a bit of a disaster in this video as we tried to cut this hole out. But uh, we're powering through it. It's going to work out okay. So uh, we're glad you're here. If you are new to the channel, uh, would you consider subscribing? The other thing you could do would be to uh, click the little bell. I don't know if it's on that side or this side. I never can remember. Uh, if you click the bell, you'll get updates for uh, future videos. And uh, go back in and check out the channel. We have lots of boat building projects, uh, not only just this one. Well, anyway, we're glad you're here. Let's jump in and see how we uh, make some further progress on this beautiful canoe. So I got the interior finished, got it all sanded, and now it's been varnished. And I'm thinking to put some bulkheads in at the front and also at the back. So I still had my molds from when we very first started the stripping. The reason I got these forms out was because I'm thinking about putting a bulkhead in at the front and the back. And rather than have it to spile it and reinvent the wheel, I think I can just use these forms to at least get me a start. So I've got some nice pieces of um, Okumi plywood here that are just left over from some other projects. And so I'm just gonna take and trace out on here how I want my my bulkhead to be and that gives me a good start and I think we'll make these oversized just a little bit because it seemed like the forms were just a little loose in there we're just gonna try to just cut this out on around the outside of that line So we're a little proud of the line here, uh, but that's on purpose. I, I want to make sure I've got enough so I can, if I need to bevel it just a little bit, I want a nice good fit inside there up at that forward end. Lovely stuff. This here's, uh, well, it's at least three eighths, close to half inch Okumi. Okay, so this is my just initial first cut. And you can see that we're pretty good there. There's a couple of little gaps just along the edge there in a place. On the left, there's a little gap there where you can see daylight. And we're not quite all the way back to the, where is it? All the way back to the stem. See there, it could come back about an inch. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my pencil and see if I can draw a line on the inside there to get me a little bit closer. 
It'll make more sense in a second. So I've got, I've got my lumber pencil here, and it's kind of thick. And what I'm gonna do is take and hold it down in here against the hull, hold this, this bulkhead piece in here as tight as I can, and then just take my pencil and run it along the edge and draw on the back side of this. And just draw right up there on the inside of that. Now I've got a much better line of what that's supposed to look like and we should be able to get rid of some of those gaps. Now down here's where that stem is so I'm just going to bring that straight across and I'll take it back over to the bandsaw and kind of trim that up a little bit. All right, I think we've got this fit in here pretty good. Um, what you haven't seen me do is take this thing back over to the belt sander over here and create some bevels on the inside of this so that it matches up with the angle as it comes back along the side. And you can kind of see where there's there's that angle going down in there. Now, I can still see just a little bit of daylight, and I don't even know if we'll be able to pick up on the camera, but at a point, you gotta say you're good enough. So what I'll do now is I'll mix up some epoxy. I'll have to sand this off just a little bit where this is. So I'll probably take my pencil and just draw a line around where I'm going, take this out of here, um, and then see there, I think you can see where there's a little tiny gap there on the left. Um, and we'll make some thickened epoxy and we'll color it up with some cedar sawdust that'll make the epoxy thick and dark. And we'll fill all that in and epoxy that in. And I took a clamp and pinched this at the top. Um, the other thing I did is I keep taking my tape measure and measuring from the very back end, the point back there, up along each edge, and I'm about 18 inches and a quarter to the uh, back edge of the plywood. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I cut out a little notch where the, where the uh, stem, the inner stem is down there at the bottom. And you can just barely see that stem sticking out down here where I've cut out around it. Um, that's gonna be good. All right, so I pulled the bulkhead out of here and I drew a line behind it while it was still in here. I don't know if you can see it, but I got a pencil mark all the way around here. And I'm gonna take this sandpaper, just go in here and rough this up. Like that. So basically, I'm, I'm just roughing that up so that my epoxy, when I make my thickened epoxy, it'll stick in there. I'm gonna wipe that out, clean that up, and then we'll start mixing up some epoxy. taking some cardboard here and, and just uh, cut out a pattern that fits for the deck. And uh, I actually took a sureform plane and planed this thing down until I got a nice fit. And we'll show you here in just a second. Now, I bought some, uh, a piece of mahogany and I actually was able to get this at Menards, uh, which, which surprised me. This board was originally about six foot long. Um, and I would take it, 
I cut off my piece is about 18 inches long, long enough for the for the deck, and then I cut it diagonally. It has some just scrap pieces of mahogany, so I thought I'd kind of glue up something that looks interesting. And this here, you can see, now this is gonna be for the forward deck, but I've just got this epoxy together. This just got glued up the other night. And I still, so I'm gonna, this is pretty thick. I'm gonna run it through the, the surface planer and, and trim it down. But this is uh, a rough cut for the, for the forward deck. Okay, so we've got this uh, rough stock glued up and ready to go. You can still see there's all kinds of epoxy on here where I glued this piece in the middle. I am gonna try to take that off of there because I'm gonna run through the planer and uh, I'm gonna try to get this down to about a half inch. Uh, it's about three quarters right now. So uh, that'll take all this epoxy off of there and get it smoothed down pretty good. We want it to wind up looking like this one. Uh, this is not cut to fit at all yet. This is the first step is just to run it through the planer. This is fitted in here. So we've got the bulkhead in. I did run just a little thin bit of uh, epoxy around the front here, but it's really glued up in the back. So that's all ready to go. We got that trimmed off flush with the, with the sides. I made this little mock-up out of the, this uh, cardboard. And we got that to a point where that fit in there pretty good, slightly oversized. And then I just use that to uh, fashion my, my deck piece. So you can see it's pretty close. And that was just a little proud on the edges. It's awful darn close though. And um, so anyway, so now this, this one's ready to go. And I did take this over on the belt sander and created just a little bevel on this edge that matches up with the curvature of the hole as it's coming in here. So we'll put some epoxy on there to get it set in there and then we'll just, I'll run some bronze screws through the, through the sides into the deck and uh, now we'll have our bulkhead and our deck ready to go. Now the next thing I'm thinking to do is I want this to be a watertight compartment, but it also seems like a useful space in here. So you can probably get these deck plates anywhere. I actually found these at Academy Sports and uh, there's a four inch deck plate. Most of the time these would be mounted on, on the top of a deck, but I'm thinking to put this right in here, right about like that, and we would have a, a usable space back here if you wanted to put some, I don't know, bottles of water or even put your phone in there, something where you wanted it in a, in a watertight, safe environment. And uh, so, my next thought was, well, I should have done this before I put the bulkhead in as far as sawing out my circle. And then I had another thought. And I went to Home Depot and I got a hole saw. And this is a four and a quarter hole saw. And that matches up with that inner side. Now it's just not quite big enough, but it's gonna be enough to get me there 
I should be able to kind of grind and sand out my circle. So we'll use this with the drill. And I've got the attachment that goes on here. Drill our hole right through there. And we should be able to put the put this deck plate in. And once we get that in there, then we'll be able to put the deck on and then we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and varnish it and finish it off. All right, here goes nothing. not what I wanted to have happen. Okay, rip the fiberglass. Oh, that's not good. Whew. What a disaster. Oh, I've got a mess. I've taken one of these blue puzzle piece pads and put in here to protect this in case that thing goes crazy again. I just gotta go really slow and careful and hold on to this dude. Let's do it like this where I can really get a hold of it. Part of this, uh, part of the reason I do these videos is to show you how to do it and or show you what not to do. Look at this big gash I've got in here. There's about three bad spots in there. I'm gonna have to sand that all the way down, piece in some fiberglass, rebuild that back up. And I've got a big gash right here but I did get my hole cut out. I can fix that with some thickened epoxy and, uh, um, dang it. Oh, man. oh my. All right, sometimes you have little setbacks. It's gonna be okay. If you like the video, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.